I have to thank uh, the department heads and their staffs and my staff in the finance too because they helped with Gatsby 34. Yeah. I didn't do it all alone. I had a lot of research done and got a lot. It's good that we have some longtime service employees here who had some of the history since we did have to go back so far. And Fred yeah. and Christina with the roads and assessing and public works, all the departments were very helpful. Um, and we're probably almost as glad as I was when <laughs> that was over. <laughs> probably not as glad, but almost as glad. So kudos to all of them. And I have, um, it was my first year, but we have to realize Kathleen is the only one that's still in the finance department who had been there and she was in a new position and then I had two new employees also who were learning so I just wanted to point that out and thank all of them. Um, I'm here for November mm -hmm. for the finance and I'll be quick a lot faster. Yes. Is it, please okay I have to talk <laughs> slowly. No, you though. can talk fast tonight. That's I can? Right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'll try and <laughs> you guys up. all heard that right? Um, it's the 11th report the target was 91.67% the month's total income without capital uh, reserve was 592,000. Motor vehicles came in at 276,000, which was 37,000 over the month's target. Other major contributors to the month were payment in lieu of taxes at 120,000. That's the next era settlement that um, was done last year. Interest on taxes at 8,000. Building permits at 18,000. Departmental income at 40,000. Franchise fees at 66000 and the real estate trust at 46000 The expenses for the month of November, um, the target was 91.67. The, the departmental totals without debt service was at 88.29%, which equates to 3.38% um, under the target or $789,000. So we have... Uh, <coughs> shrunk that gap. I think it was 37 or 57,000 a couple months ago when I, was 37 when I was sitting here. So um, we have put tight uh, constraints on the department heads and they have really uh, curved their spending. So um, overall the departments as a whole are under the target. Uh, since I appear to be sounding like a broken record each month, I'm not going to point out all of the supplies and expense lines, electric, heating, fuel, gasoline, diesel, staff development, OT wages and maintenance lines like I've been doing in the departments because they're all still over, um, mostly as a result of having the default budget. I'll just point out to you guys some of the other um, items in the departments that are over or any departments that are over as a whole. I also would like to note that um, the career incentives and holiday pay lines have now been expended. Uh, those are contractual through the collective bargaining agreements and they are paid out the last payroll in November usually because they have to be paid by the first of the first of December so we always have paid those out um, the Thanksgiving week so a lot of times people will ask during the course of the year how come those lines aren't being expended it's because they're one-time types of expenditures and they now if you look at them you will see they are all either very close to target maybe a little over a little under so um, that being said, I'll just quickly go through the different areas. Town manager section as a whole is at 92.77. They're a little over target. Under the finance department on page two, uh, the postage line is at 108.33%. Just remind everyone that it, we uh, it's not just finance postage, it's postage for the whole town. Assessing uh, contracted services is still over target. Uh, it's at 106.37, uh, that section as a whole, assessing. MIS, the four equipment related accounts when combined are $8,000 under the budget. Planning board, the advertising is now over budget by 2000 In cemeteries, part-time wages and contracted services are both over target. The police department, when you include the open POs, is at 88.4%. Uh, there is a list there of a few accounts that are over. Most of them, nothing new there. It's all the same ones that have been over throughout the course of the year. <coughs> Fire department is at 88.84 with open purchase orders. They have uh, vacation wages, firework detail wages, rentals and leases, um, and the fire stations and building as a whole now is over target at 107.76%. Highways and streets is still over. They've been over since I think uh, February of last year. 
uh, with all the snow, which we don't want to talk about anymore. <laughs> Municipal sanitation is below target at 83.58%. Uh, um, the only thing that is of note there is the transfer station as a whole is over target at 102.76%. Culture and rec recreation, uh, the account to note there is under administration, the uniform expense line is over. The warrant articles, um, since I've actually done this report, we are down to, um, oh, that's encumbrances, sorry, I got excited. Warrant articles are being expended. Uh, a lot of those projects are complete. Under the 2014 encumbrances, it was at 89% when I did the report, but now I'm down to just one purchase order left open, which Fred and I are hoping to uh, pin down the DPW director and figure out if he's going to use that or not. So the 2014 encumbrances, hopefully within the week or so, will be gone completely. So the recreation, uh, when we're looking at the special revenue funds, the recreation fund, the beach sticker donations year to date is at 16 thousand seven hundred and nine dollars with twenty one thousand being awarded in scholarships uh, cable committee is now um, let's see they the check for the school has been cut for the thirty six thousand five twenty three for their channel 13 private detail is uh, below the 2014 balance by twenty one thousand the EMS fund uh, the balance is growing and it is now just over five hundred thousand and under the wastewater system development charges, uh, we have collected $196,000. Uh, 82,000 of that is earmarked for projects that the board has approved. And so that would bring the balance down to 114,000. That was fast. Any questions?